Disclaimer. I am not a mechanic, AMP, AMT, AME, not a CFI, CFII, well, you get the point. If you have any questions, concerns, etc., seek the advice of experts. I'm a private pilot who owns a plane and is trying to give back to the aviation community by sharing my own experience in aircraft ownership. Please refer to your aircraft's POH, as every aircraft is very different. And remember, we're all in this together. So be safe out there. Hi everybody, I'm James and this is Piper. This is a Papa Alpha or PA-28 designation, 161 horsepower. Aircraft four-seater. In the 1970s, for some reason, they had a placard put on the back that showed that it actually contained or could handle seven people, which is absolutely insane. However, uh, usable weight on this I can comfortably fit three adults or four light adults or a couple kids couple dogs so anywho this is how I do my exterior inspection of the aircraft this is not including the interior inspection which is different might take another video on this one however to prep for this need a few things number one our checkmate uh, check list uh, for all of the points in a Piper Warrior. Notice that it is for a PA-28-161. I have my engine cloth, which is 100% cotton white cloth. And then I have a little chamois, make sure it's clean. Gloves, which is always helpful. You can use either water or I use clear view for all surfaces. I got this from some aviation shop, but I uh, used to use water and it worked just fine. I'm not quite sure if this works much better than water though, uh, so you may want to save your uh, money. Also have a flashlight, it's kind of dark in here. I have the hangar door closed right now. Uh, this helps aid uh, leading your finger in inspections of the engine compartment over there. So basically how I get started is I carry my checklist with me for reference, however, I want to make sure I put my hands on everything starting with the engine compartment here. And the reason I have these two cloths, this is going to be my engine cloth, and this is going to be my exterior cloth, is I want to do two things at once. I want to A, inspect all the points on the engine, and B, make sure that everything is clean. Very important, a clean plane is a happy plane. So going through here, you do your normal checks, checking your oil, use your engine cloth to wipe off the dipstick, put it back in, and then I usually go left to right, down through the engine, putting my hand on everything, or at least my finger. The reason I do that is make sure the connections are connected properly, and also I'm not too terribly scared that something's going to fall off, because if it is, it's going to definitely fall off in the air. So again, left and right, making sure all my connections are connected, my hoses are hosed, so on and so forth. Do a little bit of wiggle here, wiggle there. Uh, it's important because a lot of times people just check their oil. That's definitely not sufficient because a lot of these tubes of hoses, so on and so forth, could be on the verge of cracking or falling off the engine. So again, just go back and forth using my engine cloth, using my flashlight to go through and make sure everything's wiped clean, see if there's any leaks, any pools at the bottom. Moving over here, I want to make sure just stepping back that everything looks fine. Normal prop check. Alternator looks good. Going through, making sure I'm wiping off any spots. If I wasn't doing the video, I would use my alternate towel here and wipe off all this bug juice. This does two things, making sure that there's no cracks on the cowling, and number two, makes your plane look good. Going down here, inspecting the wheels, everything looks good. Tire's a little bit low, so I'd want to get my compressor on that. Again, cleaning this off brings attention. Using a flashlight points your finger for you. Touching everything is a good thing. On the other side, we do basically the same thing. We check our reservoir, everything looks good in there. Go ahead and recheck even the hoses that we checked on the other side. Everything looks good here, here, moving over there. Any frays, anything like that, using the engine towel to wipe off any type of leaks to see if they're an issue. 
Again, check your spark plugs, check everything on the top, check everything on the bottom, no pulling, everything is put together correctly, no leaks, you're good to go. Now, no reason to keep the engine rag with you so you can drop that down anywhere you'd like. There we go. And then you can start cleaning the exterior of the plane. This is two things. Number one, it makes your plane pretty. Number two, you're running along and making sure there's no cracks, no dents, no leaks, nothing to that effect. Wheel looks good. Check the fuel. Fuel is suitable. Clean that off. Cleaning, cleaning. Pitot tube, tie downs, everything looks good. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Also part of the exterior check, I want to make sure that all the lights are functioning. I do that during the interior as part of the checklist there. What I'm checking here, a little bit more in depth, making sure there's no cracks, nothing's loose in there, there's no bugs, there's not an adjacent squirrel. Going through, actually literally crawling under the plane. See that there's nothing wrong, gives me a chance to look at the tire again, see if there's any dents, anything crazy going with the flaps of the ailerons. Wiping my tail, going down the aileron, making sure the functionality is correct, moving freely. Flaps are locked, good to go. Again, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. If you did a normal check without the cleaning portion, sometimes you would miss issues with rivets, pops, or so on and so forth. Going through here, checking the antennas, cleaning those guys off. Again, with the chamois, not really building static, so you don't have anything to worry about. Going down here, making sure that my letters or numbers are looking good. I have my certification placard, everything, again, cleaning. Down here, I'm making sure that the leading edge of the elevator is good. Everything's good, hinge is good. Flap looks good. I would clean, clean here. Going down here, secondary check. Moving up and down, everything looks fine. Cleaning edge, cleaning edge. And then I look down here, make sure the tie down's good, make sure all of my screws from my ELT are good. Cleaning, 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 cleaning. This off here. Everything looks good from this side. Door is open, that is fine. Checking down here, flap is sure still secured. They're still hanging on. Piano wire is still good for my right aileron. Up and down looks good. Going to the edge, checking the light. Cleaning, cleaning. All the way down to I hit my fill on the right side. Look down, looks good to go. Moving down to the tire, wheel well looks good, chocks look good. I would clean that, clean that. That also goes uh, for a visual inspection of the brakes, the brake lines, the hydraulic fluid, making sure everything's in line. Um, over on the last side, this is something that a lot of people miss here, the internal air vent. I think just about every aircraft has one of these guys, making sure that's free and clear. Normally that's overlooked, but if you're in the mode of cleaning the uh, leading edges of your wings, you wouldn't miss that because your hand literally goes over and a lot of time stops from the friction. So now we are here where we started. Next thing I do is put the checklist down and make a mental run of everything that I've just checked. Fuel quantity is good, fuel quality is good, uh, caps, drains, vents, so on and so forth. And up here, the quality of the fuel, that's the next thing we're going to check. I always do that last, um, just because of the way that I check it. Engine oil belt, good, so on and so forth. So basically, you go through here and make sure that you've checked everything. However, if you've used your towel and you've taken your time to go through the complete aircraft, you should be good to go. You actually end up checking more things that are on the exterior summary list. Lastly, the fuel sump, I would go over here, get my fuel sump. Check my fuel drains. I've got three. I've got two on the wings, which are sumps. 
And then my final, check the fuel quality from the engine, it's right here. Of course, carrying your towel with you so if there any spills, you could pick them up. And then put it back. It's extremely important to do these quality checks. I've noticed that through my career of flying, however short it may be, I have noticed that there has been uh, multiple little things that could have erupted into big things, especially concerning the engine, the fuel, and lastly, the connections for securing. On the grounds, these look fine. They're easy to overlook. However, in the air, having a engine cow flap flap up and uh, could cause an emergency very quickly. Um, additionally, I've had it where one of these uh, inlet pipes actually was disconnected after an annual. There was two, um, which would have done great harm to my engine had I not done a very thorough engine check. Again, just Simple stuff, keeping your plane clean, making sure you run your hand along the entire body of the aircraft. Makes the aircraft happy, makes you happy because you will not experience or will experience less issues that were avoided by just doing a thorough check on your aircraft. So good luck guys, stay safe, catch you next time. A few wrap up notes that may prove helpful. As with every other aspect of flying, always have a plan. Know what your plan is before you start and stick to it. I've noticed that if I have a friend, have them follow around the aircraft with you, inspecting, pointing, touching. It gives them a feeling and building confidence uh, around the aircraft. Also, at the end, have them read off the checklist to make sure that you've touched and looked at every point on the inspection. Again, follow your checklist as appropriate for your aircraft. All of them are different, all of them are special, even for various years of the same make and model. And remember, we're all in this together, so be safe out there.